This question is asking about the overall structure of the text. That's interesting to me because it's not quite the same as a main idea, right? It's still about like everything in general, but a main idea is kind of like what's repeated throughout. This sounds more like, okay, like how does it start? How does it end? So I'm thinking more about like the purpose maybe of the sentences as I go through. So that helps me just to kind of narrow my focus a bit as I'm reading this passage to see like what I think the structure is. So let's just look at it sentence by sentence. Musician Joni Mitchell, who is also a painter, uses images she creates for her album covers to emphasize ideas expressed in her music. So we introduce Mitchell. Um, yeah, so the, the album covers express her music. Okay. For the cover of her album, Turbulent Indigo, Mitchell painted a striking self-portrait that closely resembles Vincent van Gogh's self-portrait with bandaged ears. So this is an example of this. Okay. The image calls attention to the album's title song in which Mitchell sings about the legacy of the post-impressionist painter. So this continues that example and relates it back, I guess, to the album. Uh, in that song, Mitchell also hints that she feels a strong artistic connection to Van Gogh, an idea that is reinforced by her imagery on the cover. So this is all, there's a, some clear, clear, like just general claim about Mitchell, and then we get this specific example and a lot of evidence supporting that. So uh, I'm hoping something says like example, let's see. A, it presents a claim about Mitchell, then gives an example supporting that claim. I mean, it's like basically what I said. That's probably it. Uh, let's make sure, right? Because I, I could be falling for some sort of trap here. Just so excited I see an answer that matches what I said, that maybe I'm missing something obvious that's uh, a bit of a trap, but, but let's see. B, it discusses Van Gogh's influence on Mitchell, then considers Mitchell's influence on other artists. First of all, other artists are not mentioned. And then Van Gogh is not the star of the show here, Mitchell is. So this is kind of doing the, that main character confusion thing. Uh, C, it describes a similarity between two artists that knows a difference between them. Well, no, again, this is main character confusion. It, the, the main, there is a single main character of this passage. It talks about Van Gogh a lot, but he is always talked about in relation to Mitchell, right? Mitchell is the star of the show. So we better have an answer choice that makes her the star as well. Um, C is kind of equating and saying that giving equal weight to both Mitchell and Van Gogh, and that's not really what's going on. Van Gogh is an ex part of an example that is really about Mitchell. So this is kind of bringing the, the example up to the level of like the protagonist, and that's not what we want here. So hopefully all this stuff about main character makes sense. This is, this really helps me think about choices that otherwise may seem very similar. Um, D describes the songs on Turbulent Indigo, then explains how they relate to the album's cover. No, it does not. It describes a single song on that album, I believe. Um, but again, it's not about the songs. It's not about the album. It's about the artist. So the example that they give is always in service to really talk about the artist. So A is definitely right. It presents a claim about Mitchell. Notice how this choice also centers Mitchell as the main character. And then the example is just supporting that claim. They don't even mention that Van Gogh thing. They don't even mention the album cover, the songs. It's really just like, okay, it was a, we, made, we said something about Mitchell. Everything else was about that initial claim about her. So um, thinking about the main character can really help you um, kind of just notice, again, these differences between choices that otherwise might be tempting because they are mentioning people who are mentioned in the passage. But you have a good intuitive sense of who is the star of the show. That can help you when you need to go to the answer choices because they should also be the star of the answer choice.